Hello everyone. Today the topic is the one-handed backhand. And what better way to approach it than by analyzing closely Gregor Dimitro's awesome one-handed topspin backhand. Gregor has one of the best backhands in the game. And it's a great model to study. Let's take a look at some backhands. Always on his toes, moving, setting up, stepping into the shot, and very stable through contact. Nice split step, turns his shoulder, racket it up, step into the shot, and really let that racket hit through the shot. Keep the racket head behind the ball. One of the things that makes his backhand so great is how stable he stays through the shots. His head barely moves. His eyes are fixed at contact. Let's take another look from the front. Sideways, stepping into the shot, letting the racket come around and through. He has a very long follow through. He really lets that racket swing. He gets behind the ball first, then steps into the ball. That lets him keep his body weight going towards his shot. In slow motion, you can really see how well he moves and how balanced he is. Let's take a look at each of the different elements that makes this shot great. Ready position. In the ready position, he's neutral. He's waiting to see where the ball goes and as soon as the opponent starts swinging, he split step. Here we can see him in the air on the picture on the left side. And as soon as he realizes where the shot goes, he's changing his grip. On the picture on the right, you already see him holding an eastern backhand grip. His left hand is holding the racket by the throat and it's going to help him take the racket back make the necessary grip changes, etc. After a nice split step, he knows where the ball is going and the first thing he does is as he lands, he's going to open his knee. You can see this right here, how his knee is pointing in the direction of where he's going to run. Same thing with the foot. You already have the foot pointing in the direction of the run, so he's going to turn his body and he's going to use this left foot to push off. As he gets behind the ball, he gets that racket head up. The wrist is cocked. A very nice shoulder turn. And he's getting ready to step into the shot with the right leg. His center of gravity is low. He's getting under the ball. As he steps into the ball, he's going to strike the court with the heel, which we call a heel strike, which is going to keep him in balance to be able to hit through the shot. His foot is going to point pretty much at the post. So it's not uh, straight at the net, but it's not parallel to the baseline either. Look at that shoulder turn, a very full shoulder turn. Also, his shoulders are basically parallel to the ground, very little tilt. The left hand still holding the racket and helping him turn. I also like this wide stance. He takes a fairly large step into the ball, which will lower his center of gravity and let him stay in balance. After that, he lowers his racket and tries to get that racket head under the ball. The racket is going to come from under the ball, it's going to go out towards the ball and hit around and forward. His hitting arm is basically straight. 
Look at the head. Amazing. Eyes at contact, head totally still, hitting arm straight. His non-hitting arm is still close to the racket in this picture. You can see that the racket head is slightly below the hand. So the racket head is going to brush from under the ball up and through the ball. After contact, the strings follow the ball. It's a firm contact. The racket flight is towards the target. His left foot stays anchored behind, keeping his body turned. At contact, he's still basically sideways. Look at the head. He just barely lifts his eye a little bit to watch the ball, but the head is very stable. What I like you to watch here is his racket. So he released the wrist. The racket head is basically going through the shot and he's releasing the wrist, accelerating that racket. The racket is also coming from down here where it started and it's going up to this position. The wrist is starting to rotate up. So the racket head started under the ball and under the hand and here it's already quite a bit above the hand. The racket head is going to continue moving up from down here where we started. The racket is going through and up. The hips are still sideways. The left hand is moving backwards to make sure that he doesn't over rotate. Here, his left hand continues to move backwards as his right arm continues to move forwards. He really throws that arm to the ball. You can also see how the wrist is totally cocked. So the racket went from being under the hand before contact to way above the hand. The arm is totally straight. The scapulas basically are pressed together. This really allows him to stay sideways and not open up too early. Finally, his hips start opening up. His left foot starts coming around. He's facing the net and he's ready to recover. To finish, I will let you look at the video again. I am sure you will recognize all the technical elements that I discussed. Enjoy it one more time. Thank you for watching. Visit Tennisgate soon.